what's going on capricorn uh thank you for tuning in guys let's get into your love reading let's see what is coming your way okay do keep an open mind as these readings are general hope y'all are doing well let's get into it all right let's come in capricorn and love so we see from your last reading some freak wanted you to take them back or something like that, okay? Come in a Capricorn of love. Spirits. Capricorn. Come in a Capricorn of love. The spirit wants you to keep an open mind here. Cappy. Okay, Capricone. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of honey um, holiday time together. All right. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and your expectations. We know Capricorns have high expectations, okay? <gasps> All right, nothing wrong with that. But just give them a little bit of, you know, benefit of the doubt, Capricorn, okay? <laughs> we have worth waiting for. Uh, divine timing is at work in your love life or within a certain connection and situation. You may be connecting with a Libra. What is coming to Capricorn in love? Or in Aries, okay? Taurus. What's coming to Capricorn in love? Ooh. All right, the hangman. Who pulled the hangman as well? Gemini. So, yeah, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay. What's coming to Capricorn in love? Okay. <clears throat> okay. You got love here. You got a, a new beginning in love or just a new love that's being offered you. Someone's offering you their cup, okay? Making a romantic uh, gesture, a love offer. Now, could be coming from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But with the hangman, uh, this is asking you to... Be open to this. Uh, try to see things differently. You know, I can't tell you what to do. If you don't, you don't. But the hangman is that energy of just trying to be open-minded. Okay, let's come to Capricorn in love. Let's come to Capricorn in love. Capricorn. Okay. Um, the Four of Swords. You may be in a in the process of healing maybe from another situation because you know with this boat here it gives me the six of swords energy you may have recently went through a breakup uh, maybe a divorce um okay and maybe you question yourself if you're really ready for this offer if you're ready to um try something new here all right um and you may find yourself obviously thinking about it a lot you know and whatnot. Um, maybe you still feel like you need a little bit more healing. It's coming to Capricorn in love or the person you're connecting with. Uh, of course, these readings could be reversed. Let's say you made a, an offer to somebody and you haven't heard from them yet. Just give them some more time to come around because they may have recently went through something that you may or may not know about. Okay. Yeah, it does feel like you have somebody here. Um, I feel like somebody literally wants to push away love, okay? They have or they want to, okay? Or it's just, it could just be their 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 mind telling them to push you away. But let me just rephrase what I said. But they probably don't necessarily want to, but it's like the fact that they've been healing, okay, or taking time for themselves, Um they may not feel like they're necessarily ready. Um, but I feel like someone's going to try their best here to convince the other person to give them a chance. You know, here's love. Here's what I'm offering. Um, I want to love you, right? I want to do all these things for you. Bottom of the deck, we do have um, 
Empress energy. So it does feel like somebody has positive, pure, and loving intentions towards you. And I feel like they just want to love you, Capricorn. I'm just going to keep it straight up. They want to give you the best of the best. They want to treat you the way you deserve. Um, and all these things. But it's like someone's just not letting the other person do that. Or you're just not letting them do that. Okay? It's like someone's pushing the other person away or creating this block, this barrier. Wow. It's coming to Capricorn. You know, I have a strong feeling Capricorn is probably you doing it. Okay? It's you. Don't tell me. Don't tell me no, Capricorn. It's you, honey. Okay? Because seven of wands, that's Capricorn. They love Cap Capricorns love this card because they will block your ass. Okay? It's not a Capricorn reading if that shit did not come out. So I'm getting, there could be an age difference, okay? But again, it just feels like someone is contemplating their their readiness to, to have love, to accept love, okay? But man, this person's going to put up, they're going to put up a fight, okay, for you. Um, I think deep down inside, someone knows like, hey, this person probably does have good intentions. You probably are a good person, you know, um, all these things, but... I don't know if I'm quite ready for it. Okay. Um, this feels more like a newer energy. Um, it does feel like a new energy for you, Capricorn. Yeah, you see, uh, justice is justice and hangman is very similar. Um, justice is trying to tell you to keep balance. To give it a fair chance, okay, to be open-minded. Libra energy here. Could be dealing with the Libra. Um, I feel like, like I said, there's this emphasis that someone has had on just being single, uh, focusing on their money, focusing on themselves, um, self-care, self-love, all these things. Um, and maybe while someone was doing that, it's like you manifested real love. You you manifested um something real um you know what i'm trying to say i feel like someone doesn't want to be disappointed again in love maybe someone even swore off of love they're like you know what i'm done i'm not doing this shit no more love just isn't for me i've given up already and then here you come walking into my life you get what I'm saying? So there is a lot of fear. There's a lot of guardedness. Could be someone has still having some more emotional baggage to sort through. We have the five of cups. Feels like someone has also been really fixated on the past, you know, what they've been through. The past disappointments. And they just don't want to get their hopes up again. Only for that to happen again. Four of Swords for Capricorn and Love. Four of Swords. I feel like somebody may have even been making plans to move. Uh, to just start their life over somewhere else. And maybe right before you do that, boom, this person, you know, shows up. definitely going to be shooting their shot Capricorn and I feel like they're serious about having a relationship with you this I mean this person is showing up as really trustworthy um look at that someone's pushing it away somebody has a lot of trust issues and let's say for instance and maybe you think they're a player or you're just afraid of them wasting your time and um and maybe, okay, because I'm getting for some of you, you've dealt with these freaks in the past who kind of led you on or they ended up being players at the end of the day. You get what I'm saying? And you just don't trust it anymore. Um, you know, you, you just don't want to invest. You are looking at things from, is this a high risk, low reward type of deal? Okay. That's what I think. 
because bottom of the deck, you're an empress, you're in your energy, you're in your prime, uh, man or woman, doesn't matter. You know, you have a lot of love for yourself and you have standards and you want someone who's going to treat you like this, not just in the beginning, but just um, overall. You want that real love, that real commitment, um, you know, that unconditional love. But the thing is, I feel like you have someone here who's offering that to you. Um, but again, um, I can't force you to deal with them. I can't force you to do anything. Capricorn. Single, yeah. So maybe you just kind of just decided to just be single and you just said, fuck it. Like, okay. Some of you, I am getting it is possible. Maybe um, you're going through a breakup with someone. And it could be your ex or someone who didn't treat you well. Trying to come back and treat you well. But you're like, look, you've had your chance. You've had your freaking chance. Okay. Something about a breakup here. And a reconciliation. Okay, you have family. Unfinished business. Heartbreak, being afraid of heartbreak, I feel. I feel like that's what that heartbreak is talking about. But either way, um, you have somebody here who wants to um, love you properly. Okay? You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want. Well, there be good love and protection. Maybe a selection. This ring wants to show you the way love is supposed to be. Um, might be a little too late. Might be too little, too late. If this is someone from the past. Okay. Okay, yeah. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Okay. This friendship is leading to more. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Yeah, see, I'm getting that you're tired of connections that are just sexual, okay? Um, you want something real, and if it's not real, you're going to fuck, tell them to fuck off, okay? But that's the thing. I don't feel like this person um, is only here for something sexual, okay? It's safe to trust in a situation. I feel like this person really does um, value you. Uh, they see worth in you, um, and they want to be with you, okay? But again, it's... It's just one of those things to where it's going to be up to whoever. Okay. Anything else for Capricorn in this love situation, please? You see what I'm trying to say? Someone's like completely... Like, uh-uh, I'm not opening my heart. I'm not, I'm not going to do this shit again. Like, I don't want to get hurt again. Um, someone's clutching their heart for their life, okay? Like, they don't want to let that mother go for anything. I feel like someone's trying really hard to protect their heart here. Um... Because they, they just don't want to end up in that situation again. Could be a Libra. Again, we do have Libra. There is confliction between someone's mind and heart here for sure. Um,
So again, uh, there is two groups that this resonates for. The first group is for those who recently parted ways from somebody or this reading, you know, it sounds like an ex, it, you know, it's someone who didn't treat you well and all these things. Okay. Um, that could be why you're guarded because of what the fuck they've done in the past. Okay. Now the other group is for those who are healing from just getting betrayed, getting hurt, uh, being played, um, you know what I'm saying? And you've been taking time for yourself, loving yourself the way you need to. Boom, new love shows up for you. Real love shows up for you. Um, somebody with good intentions shows up for you. But you're having a hard time believing it and letting this person in. Okay? So, I'm here to tell you, this freak is not here to do you wrong. But it is up to you. Okay? Remember, these readings can always resonate in reverse. Okay. All right. Thank you, Capricorn, for tuning in. Love y'all. Talk to y'all soon.